Hello everybody, Patrick Joe here. Uh, yeah, I just came in a bit late here, so, uh, oh, and, uh, so if you yep, put, put that on. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, hopefully this is all coming through, just sorry this is a bit late. But, Liberty Red Games E3 2020 presentation. Set it to the timeline 2K Alpha. And I love their presentations. I'm, the, the reaction sub is late because computer is slow. And I, I just love, I love the, <laughs> the high quality, <laughs> the high quality uh, production here. And Fred Fiscal, yes. Welcome our Space Time Interlopers, 2020 Josh and Doug of Limited Run Games. Let's see what they have to share with us in Timeline 2K Alpha today. 2K Alpha? Well, this is a first for me. Uh, I'm excited to be here. I am ready to see the next chapter in Limited Run. How about you, Josh? I couldn't agree with you more, Douglas. But we're not here to listen to me agree with you for an hour, okay? <laughs> we're here for hot new announcements. Hot new announcements <laughs> of the physical release kind. Because I don't even know if our company exists in this timeline, let me give you a primer. Limited Run Games is a company that takes digital-only games and makes them physical for collectors and fans. Yes. But that's boring. And we're anything but boring. So let's get on with the announcements. Just fixing the top part of the video. This year marks Way forward. the 30th anniversary, and we are excited to partner with them on several new projects. Like, I, I, I did get um, the Shantae and the Seven Sirens collectors. Don't tell me they're doing a remake uh, of the OG Shantae. Physical and Game Boy Color? Well, I don't have a Game Boy Color. <laughs> But I might get it just for collector's sake, because I do have... You guys see my Let's Play. Uh... Sean Revenge... Risky's Revenge, Pirate's Curse, Half Genie Hero, and I'm eventually getting, uh, you know, Seven Sirens, so... Maybe getting this? I don't know. And I did have this on the 3DS, you know, for the digital download thing. Never beaten it, beating it. So this is an actual Game Boy Color cartridge that can actually play. You're probably gonna need a guide for this. <laughs> Shantae cartridge on the Game Boy Color because we're partnering with WayForward to re-release Shantae in cartridge format for the Game Boy Color. But wait, that's not it. Shantae's original adventure will be coming to the Nintendo Switch this fall. Okay, I'll get it for the Switch. <laughs> super high quality. Super high quality. <laughs> Isn't there even more? There can't be. But there is. Okay, I'm, I, I won't get that one. I already have it for PS4, but hey, good for anyone who wants it on the Switch. It, it's a fun game. P personally, my favorite is uh, New Game Mode. Hmm. I, I personally, my, my favorite is The Pirate's Curse. Absolutely love it. Next up, a tale as old as time. This one's about a boy, his blob, and some Oh, dreams. boy, his blob, boy and blob, right? <laughs> Remember seeing that on the Wii, right? 
That was a Wii game, right? Yeah, boys. Yeah, remember that on the Wii. Seeing, seeing that just like, like, it was always there at Walmart, like on bomb shelf, just like, no, no one's gonna buy this, but... Eh. I mean, cool for, for anyone who, who wants to play this. I probably won't get it, but... Eh. But it looks like an interesting, like, you know, kind of puzzle platformer? Ooh, Mecha Blob. <laughs> Boy and Blob. This next game has been requested on a daily basis. Wait, what? Wait, What's happening? is it? Um... I, I was actually, I thought it was, um, I feel like this is way too loud. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I thought it was actually going to be, uh, what was it, uh, Scott, Pil Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Because <laughs> they used to say a lot, like, oh, people cause that every day for this game. Like, eh, eh. Right, people say this is a pretty good Metrovania. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll get it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We don't have much to share yet, but fans of River City Girls will be excited. We're teaming up once again with Wayford to bring back Asako and Kyoko for more action in the future. Sequel to River City Girls. <laughs> back from the dead? Who's back from the dead? <laughs> this next one's a game we know you're going to be excited about, and perhaps a bit shocked to see from us. Castlevania. Oh. <laughs> like a <it's like> Konami. <laughs> okay, cool. Not really that big of a Castlevania guy, but cool. Super Castlevania 4. God, that Game Boy game. <laughs> oh, Kid Dracula. <laughs> Oh, is it a blood scene? Yeah, uh, Curse and Moon too.
Go, oh, Dominique. <laughs> A corgi? Colossal suit of magic armor. Zangitsu also joins forces with figures from the past. Miriam, a young woman who had shards transplanted by Alcatraz. Not gonna lie, but the voiceover could be a bit better. Oh. <laughs> Back. <laughs> not, not gonna lie. <laughs> My number nine was uh success success in terms of making a lot of money during that crowdfund, <laughs> but in terms of uh, critical success, no. <laughs> But Gunvolt, real good. Love him. I had to play the other games. I think I played the demo of this on Switch. Yeah, yeah, they, there was a demo of this on, on Switch. I thought it was kind of tough. Seems like a better my number nine game than my number nine ever was. <laughs> Garu, Garu of the Wolves. What? what? Oh, uh, oh, King of Fighters. Like, I was gonna say, looks kind of familiar. P.S. Vita, the Vita lives. The Vita lives. Ah, <laughs> uh, physically on PS4. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really a big fighting games fan, but cool for anyone who wants it. Online multiplayer mode, cool. Kunai by Turtle Blaze, I guess. This reminds me of a Flash game that I played many years ago as a kid, just like like a ninja game. Nope, oh, Ease Origin. Okay. Oh yeah, that, that that was released like years ago, like on a PS4 and stuff. PS4 and Vita, I think. Oh, 
what's this? Observer. I think I heard that game. Jack in. <laughs> Oh, uh, um, my friend Pedro, yeah. The, 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 what was it, the fat, fast time? Well, like, super slow, more like, boom, 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 all that stuff. Pedro! Oh, Gree. Gree, Grease, Gris. Uh, not yet. Mm. No set date. Oh, uh, oh, I remember that game. Uh, I think that was shown off during like like a Devolver digital thing, and that was just like, ooh, that is just weird and like creepy. Like reminds me of like, like that blob thing from. Uh, uh, inside I think it was? Would water taste like wine? Hmm. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay, just turned to inherent. Friends of Ringo Ishikawa. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of the character. Kind of reminds me from uh, you know the River City series. What was it like? Like Ryuichi Rico. Oh, Mega Dimension. Uh, Neptunia. Uh, V two. Or seven. Don't know. Like. Yeah, V2. I, I, really, I really need to get the PS4 version because I don't like digital. <laughs> That's why I'm doing the reaction because I love physical. But like, uh, get the PS4 version. I think that there's a store near me that actually has it. To the most claim RPGs. Oh, yeah, Grandia. I was last to wait. Gran Grandia? Oh, cool. Never really played the Grandia games, but... And personally, they don't look in interesting to me, but... That, that's alright. I mean, like, like, was this released on PS1 and PS2, or was it just like only on like PS1? Because some some models looks like like with the sprite based ones, kind of like reminds like. This is definitely a PS1 game. Devolver Digital has released one amazing game after another, and we're extremely happy to partner with them on this next one. Oh, Katana Zero! Oh, that's nice! Oh, Bullet Time, that was the name of it, Bullet Time. Yeah, the, this game look, looked interesting. You fill me up. <laughs> Yeah, 
deflecting the bullets. I believe I like one hit and you die. Oof. While we've technically already announced this physical release, this is a game that I know is near and dear to many. For a lot of people, this is a release that may have moved them to tears or touched them on an emotional level. So we're extremely excited to announce it, or at least re-announce it. Oh, to the moon, right? Yeah, I heard people say good things about this. But I uh, never actually played a player for myself. I know a little, like a West player uh, that, that I watched played this and uh, were, were working to tears. Oh. So you sleep with him as you grow, grow up. Well, watch him as he grows up and, you know, goes to the moon. <laughs> And a slow dance in the lighthouse. <laughs> I want to take this time to remind you of the great releases that we currently have available on our website. If you haven't ordered from us yet, there's no better time than now to pick up some of these releases before they're gone forever. Our URL is https www.limitedrungames.com slash index.php Now without further ado, here are the games that are available now. Or just go to limitedrungames.com <laughs> Jane Solid Bob A big game for here. Nineteen ninety five. I wasn't even born yet. Samurai Showdown, yeah. Mmm, have I seen that before? Which is Wizard of Legend? No. Return of the the door or or Orbiton. Yeah, or, or. <laughs> like I, I I was remembering like why is the name Oberdin? Just like I thought that was just the name I just came up to like Oberdin? Is that the name? <laughs> yeah. Pretty good from my very pretty good mystery game. Solve the puzzles. So solve what happened, put pieces where they belong, right? Exactly what I give you. And it's all in this kind of filter. It's it's not like oh, oh it's a real uh, like realistic graphics, but it's like is this, this is the graphics of it entirely. And I'm pretty sure you can like change the color of it, but like how it looks like this is. Literally how it looks. Nemesis. 
Yeah, you gotta find out who killed, who was killed by what, when, how, stuff like that. For like each major person on, on, on the <laughs> on the ship. Hey, papers, please. Papers, please, for the PlayStation Vita alongside it. Hey. Papers, please. <laughs> Vita lives! The Vita! The Vita! <laughs> no. Is that the Oya? Is that the Oya? The Oya lives in 2020. The freaking oh yeah! <laughs> Why? Why? While nothing could save the Ouya, we're excited to announce that we'll be preserving physically for the Nintendo Switch one of the platform's definitive experiences. Get ready. All the games is on the Ouya. <laughs> oh. Okay. Never actually played it. I feel like I heard it before. But, uh, okay. The Duya is finally dead. <laughs> this is like. Oh. Oh, okay. Expans those expansions. I think I'll be getting this. <laughs> it's a super hard game. I don't like playing super hard games. Like I, I tried playing Bloodborne. <laughs> not not kind of game for me. And like precise movements, just like no, not not for me personally. And it's kind of lot like a rhythm game, well, like an, like you gotta move to like kind of like the the exact beat, like like kind of like what was it, shapes and beats, kind of like that. No, no, no digital. Screw digital. <laughs> Why is this reminding me of something? <laughs>
Cool. I, I might get it. I might. I love Samurai Jack. I, I, I don't know. Just depends on, you know, like when they announce that pre order stuff. Oh. <laughs> Who? Oh. updated video game related news. I'm from Quant Games. I just want to let you know that Trover on Nintendo Switch, Trover Saves the Universe, the video game on Nintendo Switch is coming out physically in a physical package form. Yay. There's limited run <laughs> games. Let's look at some footage from the game. Well, what do you know? This is a hot little game. Get your hands on it. The physical edition. It's a limited run from Limited Run Games. My fingerprint is on every package. That's the bonus special thing. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't. I didn't do that. So, buckle into your seat. Shut the Trover. No one needs to hear your commentary about everything. Proper the rapper. Proper the rapper. <laughs> huh. Yannis is kind of stiff today. Let's let the game do the dancing for us. Oh. Dang. Oh well. Cool. Okay. Okay. We've worked with them in the past and we're proud to work with them again. Here's a message from our friend Bayan at Key Games. Hi, this is Bayon. I'm at the home studio right now in Dojo. And today, I have the great inspired... What's up with the filter? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this before, but I don't remember. <laughs>
So like, well, what's the character we're playing as? Like, can can we really tell? Like, is that like an elf or something? <laughs> this recent RPG has already reached critical acclaim, and it's been one of our most recently requested titles. And I'm so proud to bring it to you. Let's check it out. Moon Sprackings. Oh, that it's it's. <laughs> it's what Paper Mario is supposed to be after. Probably Super Paper Mario, but hey, Nintendo is giving giving the fans the Paper Mario they want. The fans are gonna make their own Paper Mario. Own paper style. Got got the story. Yeah. Maybe I might get this. Maybe. Never. I was about to say I never really played Paper Mario game, but I I, I played Sticker Star. Uh. Hey Douglas here, and I'm proud to announce that our friends who created Slime Son have a new game called Demon Turf, and we're proud to announce that we're going to do Slime Son version of the game somewhere down the line. Let's take a look at some footage they sent us. Yep. Have I seen this before? I feel like I did, like... I feel like I've seen this, like, like at least that girl character. Yeah, like, I've seen her before. He, this is like a weird... 2.5D? Would you call it that? But, like, I, I like the style. I really like the style of it. But just that, uh, like, it's the 3D part that, that's gonna kinda get me weird. Like, you're playing as a 2D character in a 3D world. Like, a super 3D world. It's not, not like, you know, Paper Mario, where just like, oh, the, the plane is like 3D, but just like, still kinda like 2D area, so like that. No, not really. I've only ever played one Star Wars game, and it was, I think it was Shadows of the Empire on Nintendo 64, and I never beat it. Like, I was just like, how do I play this? I don't know how to play this. And then, like, as a kid, just like, maybe I should, like, like go try and, like, plug in and play it. Oh! Monkey Island. Oh, for PC. Yeah. I don't like PC personally. We hope you've enjoyed our presentation this year, and we hope we've satisfied your hunger for hot new game announcements. We'll see you next year. Thanks, and goodbye. Final Fantasy. <laughs> That's Final Fantasy font. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> From everyone at Limited Run Games, in our timeline and yours, thank you for watching. Mm. Cool. Yeah, the uh, with, with that Final Fantasy font, like, I was just like, wait, are they gonna do something? Are they actually gonna do something with Final Fantasy? But, uh, nah. But, you know, then that's okay, man. That's all right. They announced a bunch of games. Uh, some, some games are just like really heavy. Just like, it looks interesting. I'm not sure if I really want to get it. Uh, but I think that's uh, Liberty Run should update their science about now. Uh, if I just pull this up. Uh, yeah, there's, there's Sonic, got the Dragon Side Bob here, Sonic Red Showdown, Other Wild, Outer Wilds, got the East Origin stuff. Uh, 
uh, I, I got pre-ordered that, that Summer of Cargo of Reflections. Like, I, I knew they, they were going to do, you know, like, I just had a feeling just like, they're, they're going to do this physically, but like, I bought it digitally, so, God, do a double dip. <laughs> but, uh, Kunai kind of looks, kind of looks cool. Uh, well, oh, uh, Demon Turf, we got, got their Twitter here. Bug Fables, hmm. Samurai Jack, that, that was just like, ooh, I love me some Samurai Jack, so maybe. Uh, Castlevania, no. Papers, please. Ooh, Brewer starts on uh, July 24th. Oberdin, that looks really interesting. Like, I've seen, uh, I watched, uh, another less player group that did this. Like, it looks interesting, like, you know, kind of figure out how everything goes. Uh, it's in the moon. Uh, but more, uh, River City Girls, so, hmm. Oh, well, I, I, I want more. More River City Girls. Because that, that game was really fun to me, personally. Uh, oh yeah, Shantae. Uh, they, they're doing, um, a physical release for that for, you know, uh, the Game Boy Color. And also, Switch. So, just, really iffy, you know, about, you know, getting that. Uh, because... It's it's kind of dated, but like it's kind of fun. But you you you're kind of gonna need a guide to, to like play because if you just play, don't play after a while, then come back to it just like, what do I do? Because <laughs> that happened to me when I played on the 3ds, which is just like, just just right there. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, whenever this, when, whenever the bot is up, uh, I'm gonna see, you know, uh, how, uh, the, how the train arc is, of course, uh, I, I came in a little bit late, cause, you know, video, I mean, computer had issues starting up, and yada yada, but, yeah, that was a pretty good, uh, LRG3, you know, didn't have E3, so, Whenever run games had to do with themselves, so yeah, if, if you guys you know are are not you know uh, digital guy are are not physical guys, well, if you guys really want to you know collect them you know there's them, uh, yeah, like I've gotten like a couple of I I did an unboxing of them uh, Valhalla, some Kagura. Shant the Shantae games. Uh what else did do they do? Um Yeah the, the those were the ones I, I, I really got. Uh um uh, I'm I'm really looking carefully, uh yeah. Yes, yeah, Sarah Kagura stuff like that. River Sea Girls as well. Yeah, but if you guys won't want to get them Get those physical games while you can. Now is the time. Because you never know when things are going to be delisted off of storefronts, you know, digitally. And then they'll be lost forever unless, you know, do it the legal way. And, you know, someone already has their own and stuff like that. Just like, you know, physical. All, I, all, I will always try to get myself a physical version. Unless it's, like, way too expensive or, like, can't find it all. Like with the Gravity Rush Remaster. You can't find a copy of that anywhere without it being super expensive. Or the Dang Romper Want to Reload a Thing. Can't find that anywhere without it being super expensive. So, yeah. Better get it now before it's on the aftermarket, like, for double or triple price. So, yeah. Uh, what you guys think about, you know, the Limerick Games, you know, presentation? You know that 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 that's super high quality <laughs> presentation. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And like always, like thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, share with all your friends. Check out links in the description below for all my social media links. And I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Power out, yeah.